in the beginning of April I found on Instagram this post it's not visible it's a post by Joshua and Ryan two guys behind the minimalists they invite their audience to to participate in a 30 days challenge and the goal was to get rid of one thing on the 1st of April two things two items on the 2nd three on the 3rd and so on so on and in total, in, in April, you would let go of 465 items, things you don't need. So what Joshua and Ryan say, the minimalists don't focus on having less, less and less, but they focus more on making room for more more time more peace more creativity more experience contribution freedom so basically clearing the clutter frees up the space i've joined the challenge and beginnings were pretty easy on day three i gave away three books that I've read and I'm not planning to read it in the future so might as well somebody else read them in most cities there are bookshelves in public places like in parks where you can pass the books to new owners and in Krakow um, we also have bookshelves like those but here near my um, my apartment we have uh, like small houses where you can leave the books so they won't get wet and they will wait even in the middle of winter snow and minus 20 they will wait happy and uh, safe inside for their new owner on day four I got rid of the cosmetics that were way over expiration date. In the beginning I thought that I should, like the point of it should be to put those items to new use, the ones that I'm letting go, but then I thought, hey, like I've been trying to do something with those cosmetics for a long time and I I've been looking at them thinking oh yes they are over expiration dates like way over I should not use them mm, let's just keep them and think what to do with them later so over next days I started collecting things that I would want to give away and in the same time I started to look for places where those items could go because it's easy to say I don't need this or that it's more difficult to find a new home for them wait clothes let's start with this I found online an organization that collects used clothes and put them to good use but it turned out that the minimum weight of the clothes that you want to give them it's 10 kilograms and I knew that I'm not gonna collect as many uh, clothes that they would weigh so much so that one was not possible then in Poland we have several organizations that put up containers where you could bring the clothes that you don't need but uh, there are different opinions whether it is okay to leave the clothes there or not what are what, what is happening with the clothes that you leave there uh, I wanted to check if there is any container like this one in my neighborhood there was none so, um, third option, there is a foundation in, in my neighborhood that gathers clothes, let's say, once every 
two, three months and um, you basically just leave them outside of the building marked that those are closed that they can collect there is a set up date where you pack them bring them out and leave them waiting for uh, for them to pick up and that's what i did and yes that's the story of the clothing that that was waiting for for a new home Next up was cat food and cat supplies. I love Kluska and I know she, she loves me, but a few months ago she decided she doesn't want to eat the food that she previously loved. So I was left with um, around 25 cans of cat food and um, I decided that there is no chance she's gonna eat it at any point because we tried i tried and she's been ignoring it trochę za późno wiesz ten pociąg już odjechał i ja wiem że jak to zostawię to to ty i tak nie będziesz zainteresowana tymi rzeczami później kluska Kluska. Halo, halo, halo. Kot wychodzi. To były kiedyś twoje rzeczy, ale teraz inne kotki będą je miały i mi się bardziej przydadzą. So I decided to bring it to pet shelter as well as some of the pet supplies uh, that she didn't like anymore. But the most difficult to let go in a wise way was random things that I didn't need anymore but at the same time they were not uh, destroyed and I just wanted to find a new home for them I decided to use an idea I've seen in Leipzig last year when I went uh, to visit my friend there maybe it is also common in other countries, other cities. I've seen it only in um, in Leipzig. Leipzig. So the idea is that you collect the things that you you have and you don't need, and those that are in good condition. Once again, you put them in a box and you leave them. Uh, in front of your apartment building for the the people who are walking by to see if there is anything they might need um, and they can just take it take it and go and I'm planning to do the same thing tomorrow morning here in Krakow um, let's see how it goes Okay, so this is what I ended up with. <clears throat> a big box um, with information that you can take whatever you want because I'm moving out. And there is a bit of everything. An old frame that I don't use and some boxes, candles, um, my old laptop case of course everything if it is like the the laptop thingy or the cat thingy it's washed so yeah let's let's go and let's put it outside so that concludes the challenge for me and thank you Joshua thank you Ryan that was the best moment for me to do it as you can see behind me as I'm moving out and freeing up the space around me decluttering the space around me it it was a great idea to do it before the move and maybe it was not exactly 400 something something um items that i let go of but still for me it was really a lot if you can go and check out uh the minimalists instagram they also wrote a book they have podcasts um just check them out they are both amazing there's also a movie uh, at netflix i think so 
go do it. And that's it.